The money you win will be used to pay the debt. Of course. Good luck. Thanks, Steve. Hey, everybody. How are you today? I hope everything is well. It's me, Jack, and I'm here to teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a video. Today's conversation is between a mother and her daughter who plays computer games all the time. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is trash. Next are be low on something and be glued to something. We will continue with to defend and mood. The final one is take part in. Okay, let's watch the video. Sarah, are you home? Maybe she finally went out. Sarah, did you say something? Yes, I thought you weren't home. Why didn't you answer when I called you? I had my headphones on. Did you even go out today? No, I was on the qualifier for this game. The whole day? Did you do your homework? When was the last time you cleaned your room? Do you have any idea how much trash you have here? Why can't you be more like your brother? His room is always clean. You know where he is now? In his debate club, he is doing something that will help him get into college. And look at you. You only get off this computer when you're hungry. Mom, that's not true. If I pass this qualifier, I'll get a chance. I don't want to hear it. Before you come down for dinner, you should clean your room. You have one hour. Mom, but I... No talking back! Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Dinner is ready? Yes. Where is Sarah? Is she okay? Sarah? Mom, ten more minutes. I'll come down, I promise. You didn't even move things since I told you to clean your room. I did. Look, the room is clean. I just had to come back to this game. Just ten minutes. I don't want to hear about your game. You're coming down. But, Mom... Okay, I'll turn it off. That's it. What are you doing, Mom? It was an online game. I don't care. Go downstairs now. Hey. Hi, Steve. So I heard about the competition. Yeah, I've been playing it all week. It's in two days. Nice. I still need to practice my shooting skills. I think I have a chance to win it. I don't want to hear any talks about video games. This is family time. So, Steve, any news? Oh yeah, actually I got my math exam results and it's 96 out of 100. That's great. Good. Oh, I also wanted to ask you. There's an international debate competition. I know we're low on money, but I think I'm pretty good at it. And my debate club wants me to go. Oh, I'm proud of you. And how much would it cost? The school would cover some of the costs, but I would still need to pay around $300. Okay, I will get some more additional shifts, and we'll be able to afford it. If it's too much, I don't need to go, really. No, it's very important. I'll find a way. Don't worry. What about my competition? If Jimmy gets 300 could I at least get $20 for the entry fee? Your competition? Are you comparing it to Jimmy's debate club? He is the only one in this house who cares about the school. And in two years, he's going to go to the best college. And you? You will be glued to this computer screen and miss out on opportunities. Look, Mom, Sarah's actually pretty good at it. And just because it's not a school subject, it doesn't mean she can make a living from it, so... Don't defend your sister. We came all the way from Europe just to sit and play these stupid video games. What possible future could she have? Just staying here until she gets old. Never leaving the house. Not eating because she always needs ten more minutes. Mom, it's not true. Oh, I gotta go. Did you see that? You know what? I'll talk to her and not let her play any more games. Mom, I don't think that's a good idea. Sarah, I'm taking your PlayStation away. 
No, Mom, please. The competition is in two days. You're not getting it back until you start living the real life. Get good grades and get some real friends. Everything's okay? We've got a debt collection letter. I knew it would hurt here, but never imagined it will be this bad. How we will get the money? I don't know, darling. And I'm really sorry, but I don't think we can afford your debate competition. It's okay, Mom. I'll go some other time, okay? Now well, let's try to figure out what to do with this, okay? Hi, Sarah. Hi. Please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood to talk. I know. Mom wouldn't agree with me, but I believe in you. I think you should take part in the competition. How did you find it? I have my ways. One condition. The money you win will be used to pay the debt. Of course. Good luck. Thanks, Steve. You are grounded, young girl. No PlayStation, no computer, no phone while you staying in the house. Mom, she just... I cannot deal with this anymore. Just let your kids follow their dreams. Come on. Are you trying to lecture me? Tell her. I won the competition. Competition? But I won the second place and I got $5,000 for it. $5,000? Is it possible? We're not living in the 90s anymore. Gamers can make a lot of money. Really? I will pay off our debts. And you can pay for Steve's competition. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Oh, I'm so sorry for everything. I promise I will listen to you more. I know that parents should allow their kids to follow their dreams. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. Do you have any idea how much trash you have here? Trash? It means waste materials or things that are no longer wanted or needed, or something that is of low quality. The examples, the trash really stinks. Why don't you take it out? How can you read this trash? Oh, I also wanted to ask you. I know we're low on money, but, and my debate club wants me to go. To be low on something, it means if you are low on something, or if your supplies of something is low, there is not much of it left. The examples. We're running low on gas. They were low on fuel. And you? You will be glued to this computer screen and miss out on opportunities. To be glued to something. It means to look at something with all of your attention, or not move because you're very interested, surprised, frightened, etc. The examples? We were glued to the television watching the election results come in. We were glued to our chairs listening intently to every word. Just because it's not a school subject, it doesn't mean she can make a living from it, so... Don't defend your sister. To defend... It means to protect someone or something against attack or criticism. The examples. How can we defend our homeland if we don't have an army? She was always defending her husband in front of their daughter. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Please leave me alone. I'm not in the mood to talk. Mood. It means the way you feel at a particular time. The examples. Do you want to go to the movies? No, I'm not in the mood. The news put her in a bad mood. I think you should take part in the competition. To take part in. It means to be involved in an activity, sport, event, etc. with other people. The examples. I know lots of people who took part in the march. Our survey was extensive. Almost 20,000 students took part. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson today.
I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. Now, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell for notifications. See you in the next lesson.